want to give a shout out to all my homies. But actually, no. Let's not give a little shout out to all. Just because you don't have any friends doesn't mean we can't. Red Lobster, aka Ginger Brand Boy. She's, yo, she's oh, part of the cool. hater crew. Hater, oh, you hate my ass because we're trying to holler at the homies. This is Brandon Barrett from the Morning Buzz here on whitradio.org. Well, good morning, everybody. It is the Morning Buzz here on WHITradio.org, live here in Hudson County Schools of Technology. Coming up here on the Morning Buzz, we got some news for you today in history, some celebrity birthdays, some celebrity gossips, and an update on some prom dresses from Lisette. And we start with the hardcore news stories with Kaylee. Well, the former uh, British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, who was a towering uh, figure in post-war British and world politics and was actually the only woman to become British Prime Minister, has died at the age of 87 today, according to her spokesperson. Uh, Thatcher served from 1975 to 1990 as a leader of the Conservative Party. She was called the Iron Lady for her personal and political toughness. As British Prime Minister from uh, 1975 to 1990, she played a key role in ending the Cold War. She was nicknamed the Iron Lady by Soviet press after a 1976 speech declaring that, I quote, the Russians are bent on world dominance, dominance end quote. Thatcher later enjoyed a close working relationship with U.S. Uh, President uh, Ronald Reagan, with whom she had shared some similar conservative views. Uh, Thatcher, Britain's Iron Lady, retired from public life in 2002 after suffering from a stroke. Uh, the British media are reporting that another stroke was the one that caused her death. But she certainly made an impact on the entire world stage. Thank you, Kaylee. And we're going to actually go right back to you, Kaylee. Oh, my. <laughs> You're very popular today, and here is Today in History. Well, um... The main thing in today in history was happened in 1994, which was when Kurt Cobain was found dead. In uh, 1994, uh, rock star Kurt Cobain from the band Nirvana was found dead in his home outside of Seattle, Washington, with fresh injection marks in both arms and a fatal wound to the head from a 20-gauge shotgun found between his knees. Cobain's suicide uh, brought to an end of a life marked by far more suffering than is generally associated with rock superstardom. But, uh, but that really never did seem to sit well with Kurt Cobain, who, uh, who was a committed out social outsider who was reluctantly dubbed the spokesman of his generation and uh, who, uh, one who could be thought to bring in the entire grunge uh, center stage. Are you guys fans of Nirvana? Or, well, was fans? Well, I kind of am a fan. You are a fan? Yeah. What about you, Lisa? Or you don't listen to rock music? No, I do listen to rock, but... Okay, so then do you like Nirvana? Um, I mean, I've heard their stuff, but I was I never was really into it. Like, not that I was... Not that I didn't like it. I just never, like, paid really mind to it. Mm. Kayla, do you have a favorite song from them? Um, I like Heart Shaped Box. Like, Smells Like Teen Spirit. That's a good song. Yeah. Also, Come As You Are. That's pretty good, too. All Apologies was really good, too. It's kind of a sad song, though. Well, our celebrity birthdays for today, number one, numero uno, Kristen Storms was a Disney child star and is now in Days of Our Lives. And, you know, we like to take long walks on the beach when I'm with her and stuff like that. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, must be. Hey, what's up, must be. Oh. Uh, and numero two. Romeo Barris. Yes. yes. Oh. oh, you learned my new name. Um... And number two, Gary Carter. It would have been his birthday today, but unfortunately he passed away, uh, I think it was last year. Am I correct, Mr. P? You're right. Uh, he died of cancer, I mm -hmm. think, or was it a tumor? I think it was brain cancer. Brain okay. Brain, yeah. So um, I guess happy birthday up there in heaven, Gary right. Carter. We miss great. you. We're great. a great Met, great, great catcher, one of the best. Yeah. One of the best, if not the best. If Yeah, if not the best. Yeah. Let's how, go. How old is Kristen Storms? How old is Kristen Storms? Uh, we don't like to talk about those things. Uh, and you never ask a woman how old she is. Oh. Yeah, so nice it's, it's anonymous right now. <laughs> nice. Anonymous. She nice. could be 99 years old <laughs> with an extremely crazy facial lip. Mm -hmm. We don't know. <laughs> nice. We don't know. Nice to see you there, Brandon. Yeah, thanks. Uh, 
let's go to the set with an update on some prom dresses because we're getting to about that time. Yeah, well, um, since prom is um, around the corner, I just wanted to do a little, um, like, every every day I will be searching some new websites and some new stores um, where all the girls can go buy their prom dresses. And if Brandon's lucky, I'll research some guy stuff, too. I was, I was looking for a dress. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. were you? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I found a Making website a that you can go you on. Did? Please it's, inform me. I would love to look at it. It's some called dresses. Prom Girl. Prom Girl. All right. Yes, and it says low pr- prices guaranteed every day and free shipping every day. Nice. Um, to be honest with you, it, it, I feel like it's a really expensive website, but the dresses are phenomenal. They have a, a lot of different variety, and I actually see a dress that I um I'm trying to purchase myself if my mommy wants to give me my money. Mm. <laughs> Why don't you describe it for us? Yeah. Um, it's a long sequence gown and it's open back. It's very nice. Um, they have a whole um, they have a whole different like types of dresses: classic, cocktail, corset, empire, high, low, halter, junior, knee length, <laughs> lace dresses. <laughs> they have a lot. So they um, look gorgeous. They look gorgeous. Yeah, they yeah. really are. So it's nice. ladies, yeah. prom yes. dresses. Promgirl.com is one of the websites you can go check out to see if you find anything. Yeah. So uh, Lizette is everything prom for the next couple of weeks, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're getting gonna ready. Let you know, she's going to let you know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Yep, yep. I'm going to let you guys know what's up and where to find what and where, shoes, dresses. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep you guys updated. Yes, please do, so I can (laughs) find my dress. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, A random fact for today, a first random fact, an elephant is the only animal with four knees. Now, I personally have two knees, so that is a lot of knees coming at you. Four knees is a lot of knees. They not know that. Yeah, see, you know, that's something new every day. Mm-hmm. Every human spent about an hour as a human cell. Look at that. Miss Speed, did you know that? I think you did. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool. One hour. Yeah, one hour. Just as one cell. Yep. Wow. Children grow faster in the springtime children are we do we count as children or are we like young adults well you're i mm. hope you're young adults adults at this time yeah well yeah. listen mr b we all grow up at different times so yes we do <laughs> i could i'm a child at heart all right all right Clearly. Uh, let's go back yeah yeah let's go back to the set well why do you think that uh children grow quicker in the springtime any thoughts on that why do i think everything yeah, well, grows just, in the springtime yeah everything like uh well i don't know I mean, if it says that it does, then it must do. Well, but why do you think? Just don't take it as face value. No. Put um, a little, put a little uh, brain power into it. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Um, well, like since the leaves start uh, like going back on the um, yeah, but why the do trees, they do that? Er, li- everything starts growing and starts. What do you think? Why does Extra everything sun? start going growing in the spring? Sun's out all the time. All right, Brandon, the sun. Are you serious? Yeah, that's <laughs> that was the sickest sun. guess I've ever made in my life. The sun is a big, <laughs> it's a big reason. There we go. Look at that. Look, oh, I'm so smart. Oh, all right. Right. You, you don't even know you know, it. You knocked me out. I'm so smart. I didn't even yeah. know. I'm a poet, and I didn't even yeah, know. It. Look at right. that rhyming like crazy. The sun, the warmer temperature. Thanks, yeah. Justin. Yeah. All right, Justin well, Bieber. let's go. All right, uh, let's go back to Lisette with some le- celebrity gossip. So Jaden um, Smith, which Ooh. is Will Smith's son, has a new music video out for um, his new song called Shakespeare. He gets creative in this brand new um, video for the song, which he released last summer. Oh, so I guess it's not a new song. It's just a new video. Um, The (laughs) 14-year-old musician is featured rapping in front of various cool backgrounds with different lights and shadows behind him. It was directed by his good friend and former Hannah Montana actor, Moses Arias. So you guys can go check that out on YouTube. His new video for the song Shakespeare. Shakespeare. I don't really right. want to listen or watch a 14-year-old rapping to me. Uh, now, why not? Because it's, a, Is it's really something? weird. It's 14-year-old oh. rapping. So you have you have something against 14-year-olds that rap? Yes. What if I, What if you were a 14-year-old? How would you feel if I just said, oh, well, I don't want to listen to you because you're 14? You know, it's very wrong. That's very, <laughs> very wrong and mean. 
So don't ever say that again. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Straight up bullying in here. Nah. <laughs> um, Lissette has more for us on the governor's ball and the EDC party, if I said that right. Well, um, there's two different um, events. Um, I'm going to talk today about EDC, and then governor's ball, we'll save it for another day. Um, EDC is a electric daisy carnival. And what it is, um, it's basically like um, a house music slash techno um, concert where they have um, it. They have a, it's like an outdoor rave basically with like uh, um, rides and Ferris wheels and um, like these really tall clowns and bumper cars. And there's um, a couple different stages that different performers um, perform at, like a Paul Oakenfold and Afrojack and Kevin Hair. Calvin Harris and um, uh, who else? Uh, like there's just it's just different DJs like Benny Benassis. I'm trying to think of like DJs Benny that. Benny Benassis. What yeah. His name? <laughs> hey Benny. The one he sings that song Satisfaction. He yeah. sings and he's a DJ. Well, the, well, he, it, he, it's yeah. It's a lot of like techno. It's techno music basically. So he doesn't sing. He just produces. Well, well, he no, does. No, he has a lyric. In it. There's like. Yeah, he's like. Um, so does he sing it or is he like rap it? Satisfaction. Does, does you he never sing heard it? The, does he sing it or does okay, he rap it? You never heard the song? No, there's no, no rapping. It's a song. It's a okay. song. You never heard it? I probably did. I just like I don't no, not good with names. Because you're like one of those like. What? What? Uh, like, what? What am I? What am I? One of those. One of those. One of those. That like. Um, one of those. You're one of those. One of those. That goes to those like. What? Teen nightclub. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like totally yes. like uh, fist pumping all Ooh, night. Boop. Oh, yes, I'm a fist pumper. Oh, my God. Yeah, totally. Jersey Shore is my well, this idol. this is not really my Jersey Shore. Totally tell. Yes. This is not go. Jersey Shore. It's just more like techno. Like, it's more like, it's like a rave. So, like, and then people go dressed up all weird and wearing daisies and on their, like. Wearing daisies? Yeah, on their bras and, like, stuff like that. It's crazy, crazy. It's crazy. Yes. So that's one of them. It's in May 17th. And, um, well, they have it in different locations. The one in New York is in May. Se- it's on May 17th and May 18th. The tickets are on sale now um, at electricdaisycarnival.com slash New York. Um, they have one in Los Angeles, I believe, Las Vegas. So it's going to Puerto Rico and London as well. Oh, I'm going to London. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so back to uh, back Justin to me. Bieber. Back to me. Um, we're gonna round off the show <laughs> with <laughs> the weather from Kaylee. Okay. Well, well, what about sports? What about it? Well, what the happened? Mets. The Mets won. Well, the we, Knicks won. The Yankees. I didn't. Won. I didn't. I didn't think we were gonna have some time for a quick review, but we will go over it. M- Mr. P, the New York Mets, the Metropolitan. Right. <laughs> Who would have thought they would have a winning re- a winning record? Four and two. Yes, who would have thought that? I wouldn't right. have. And the New York Knicks on a roll as well. On late. a roll. Twelve in a row. Beat the Oklahoma Thunder. Looking smooth. Looking good going into the playoffs. Fantastic. All right. That's a quick little update. All right. Let's go nice. back to Kaylee to round up the show with some weather. Well, it is 55 degrees out. It is cloudy right now. Today, it's well, you can expect it to be sunny, sunny to partly cloudy today. Um, the high is 69 degrees. Winds from the west southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, expect a few passing clouds, otherwise generally sunny. Warm. The high is going to be an amazing 79 degrees. Winds uh, west from 10 yeah. to 20 miles per hour. Unbelievable. It is officially spring, yeah. but surprise, surprise, needed to say it's been a long, snowy winter for many Americans, but for there's going to be another st- winter storm for Midwest America coming in, but later on, like maybe by the end of the week to next week, we may get some uh, rain because of this. No. Oh. Like areas like Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, the West Dakotas, Western Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Um, they're in for some snow, huh? Yeah, they're in for like uh, kind of snowy rain yeah. kind wow. of stuff. Wow. Nice. So that's going to be developing over the this pat the, over this week. So. Very good. Fantastic. Very good. We may get so we have to enjoy this. the sunny These three weather days. while it lasts. Yeah. Yes. Cause, Fantastic. Well, I don't think it's going to be affecting us like this week. Maybe next week when it, once it travels over. It's, it's well, going to be like mainly rain. If, if it's in uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, you can expect it by the end of the week. 
Well, yeah, you it's know, it takes coming, about three or four days. Yeah, it's coming from there yeah, right yeah, now, so yeah. it's supposed to be hitting them today. Yeah, so we could expect it maybe Thursday or Friday. That's yeah. how long it takes. Oh, no. I don't want to tell yeah. you. <laughs> on Thursday well, Friday, well, Thursday. what are you going to do? What are you going to do, exactly? Well, everybody, it's been a fantastic show here on the Morning Buzz, the number one show here on whigradio.org, yes, I have. must say. Oh, yeah. Thank Tune your in. panel, Brandon. What panel? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> what panel? Ah, you ah. got Kaylee and you got oh. Lizette. That's oh, your oh. panel. Oh, all right. Well, I looked at the... All right, well, thank you, <laughs> Kaylee and Lizette. <laughs> Okay. for joining us and no problem. Uh, our producer yeah. Chris Del Piero and hey, WHIT Radio.org oh, yeah. and, our, yeah. and our slash host I guess Mr. P oh. Oh. color commentator yeah you're a color commentator yeah. alright thanks everybody for joining us okay. today bye bye have a nice day what panel?